on March uh, 13th, uh, 2011, two days after uh, the tsunami and, and the earthquake disaster, I was in uh, Kamaishi city. I was standing in the devastation. So Kamaishi city was one of the uh, largest city in the uh, Pacific coastal area in Tohoku. What I found was that, like this, all roads are interrupted. Uh, people lost their life. Uh, people lost their life, and people were just uh, walking around to find the remains of, uh, of his their their lives. I'm teaching uh, disaster economics, and I'm an economist. So as an economist, I was asking myself, what I can do for this calamity. Everybody knows that there should be a lot of issues, such as shelters, and water, food, sanitation, and so on. Everybody knows that. But I was unsatisfied with the fact that very few people uh, care about livelihood and economy. So th the reason why I was unsatisfied with that there was a very big issue after 1995 uh, Kobe earthquake. I want to share uh, the fact with you. The fact was, koritsushi in Japanese, it's a kind of death in isolation. The number of the casualty, human casualty after the Kobe earthquake was 6,434. But among that, 253 people were, uh, have died uh, during the recovery process in this kind of the prefabricated uh, temporary housing. I want you to understand, these people were survivors. They survived uh, during the earthquake, but they died during the recovery process, even though they are survived. They survived. Why? So the meaning of the death in isolation is that these people were found dead uh, after uh, they died. So they, uh, no, nobody uh, took care of them. They did, uh, nobody uh, found them until uh, after two or three weeks uh, after they died. So they are very, very isolated. So I'm sure no one wants to die alone when you die. I, I myself want to be uh, someone uh, who is very inter, uh, important, but they're alone. So I important fact was that uh, mostly 71% of the uh, isolated deaths were male. So I'm, I'm sure that uh, maybe you are agree that you agree that uh, male is very Mm, uh, not accustomed to making friends with others. Uh, that, that, reflect, uh, that fact reflects the figures. But other important fact was that uh, the generations. Most of the people believe that uh, the isolated death will be happen in a very aged person. But the reality is a little bit different. The 25% of the uh, uh, isolated death was uh, 50s. An important fact was that uh, more than 60% is below 65. So relatively, younger generation who is eligible for work were, were dead uh, in isolation. So this is quite important fact. Why? Sorry. Because uh, remember that who, who lives in that kind of temporary, shelter, temporary housing? Most of them, of course, they lost their houses. But on the other hand, uh, the people cannot uh, rebuild their houses because they have no money, they have no income, which means that they have no job. <coughs> and because they have no job, which means that they have no relationship with others, especially for men. So losing the job 
it, it does not mean not only mean that they don't have money, but but also they lo lost their connection with others, with society. That is quite important uh, fact. So this is the reason why I decided to uh, commit myself to uh, the job generation program after the 2011 earthquake. But how? This is a very uh, difficult task. After, uh, after one month, I visited another city like Rikuzen Takada. The situation was much more worse than uh, Kamaishi city. It's something like that. No infrastructure, no businesses. So everybody cannot start their business as it was, because nothing. And one key word uh, come up to my mind. That was a cash flow work program. Probably uh, uh, the, some people know about a cash flow work program, which is very famous uh, inter, uh, humanitarian intervention, uh, which is conducted in a developing country uh, since uh, middle of uh, 1980s. So cash flow work program is a program that uh, for uh, the hiring uh, the uh, jobless local people into uh, uh, the recovery project. This is the case of uh, 2010 uh, Haiti earthquake. So after the earthquake, uh, debris removal was undertaken by the local uh, people, intervened by the, uh, the, uh, some don uh, donor organization and NGOs. So this project is driven by the USAID. And these people were uh, receiving money in return for their work for the recovery. So this concept of the cash flow work is not no, was not known to the, in Japan. But, but I knew, so I introduced this uh, idea to the, to the Japan. Uh, what I did was I wrote a, a small book like this. <laughs> so this is my booklet I, I, I wrote, the cash flow work. Cash flow work. So I introduced this concept to the government, and the government has adopted uh, this kind of the program. So finally, after three years, uh, the Japanese government uh, hired uh, about 60,000 people uh, under the cash work program. Uh, that accounts for the, almost 20% of the total job uh, generated during these two years. So, uh, the cash flow work uh, contributed to the job generation uh, after the, uh, uh, the 20, 2011 earthquake. And, but we want to share that uh, actually not all cash flow work program is very uh, good. Uh, some cash flow work program was, had a bad reputation in the past experience. So for, for example, uh, the one big criticism was that cash destroyed the community. For some community, uh, people are engaging in the, the infrastructure construction by, the, uh, the, by uh, the unpaid work. So everybody in the community have to work uh, without any money uh, uh, for the construction of the, uh, uh, the infrastructures. So uh, during the recovery, uh, the community members were expected to do so uh, as, as it was. However, the money, cash, was introduced to, to that community. So the people become more demanding that uh, without money, they don't want to work anymore. Uh, that kind of the uh, issue has, has uh, seen after several uh, cash work program. However, in Japanese cases, Japan, Japanese experience was not the case. Rather, uh, the introduction of cash created a uh, community bond, created a, a community bond much better. So for example, I, I, I want to give some example. So this is a, a community FM radio station which was established at, after in Minami Soma City in Fukushima. And these people were hired by the government and they can provide uh, many information for the affected people. That was enabled uh, by uh, the, gov the money from the government uh, for the, the, the uh, salary. And another issue is that these three, green, uh, these three people with green jacket, 
is also the affected people uh, who lost their houses and jobs. What they did was they were carrying the cart and walking around the temporary shelter by selling uh, some uh, daily commodities. That was a very good project because uh, the, temporary, the people in temporary shelter has no means to go uh, shopping. And these people have uh, helped them shopping uh, some commodities. And also, they are watching the people in the, uh, they are taking care of the uh, people who live in the temporary shelter every day. So this mutual support system has worked because of the cash for work program. He, he's also the one who are taking care of other people, uh, other affected people, but he is himself is affected people. And this is also quite an important uh, example. What, do you know what they did? What are they? So these, uh, something like books, these are the uh, albums, albums, uh, photos of the, uh, the affected people. So tsunami uh, washed out these kind of the very precious uh, memories. Uh, but the affected people uh, were hired by the government and they collected these uh, photos and washed it and redistributed it, uh, returned to the original owners. So this kind of work was undertaken by the cash flow work uh, uh, project. So what I want to emphasize here is that I'm sure this, this work helped the people to be resilient, uh, to recover uh, to the original uh, life. So in, in that sense, the cash flow work contributed to, uh, contribute to uh, uh, become our society resilient. So many people say that resilience is uh, based on the social capital or uh, community power, or, or et cetera, et cetera. But, but I believe that the public policy or societal institution will help us more resilient against the disaster. That's my presentation. Thank you very much.